Good night, Mr. Martin. I've been waiting for you. You wanna touch me? Come on, Mr. Martin. You know what to do. <laughs> Or maybe you wanna kill me again? What's wrong, Mr. Matson? Are you okay? Are you drunk, Mr. Matson? Didn't sleep well last night? last night, Mr. Madsen. Do you want some coffee? Do you want anything else? Uh, maybe even got gang with them now. These are not you should listen. Oh, it's you. Good night, Mr. Madsen. Could you explain to me what you were doing inside my home another night again? Sorry? And what have they told you about me? You still haven't answered me. Call me when you become a real detective, Mr. Matson. Henry, do you want to know some terrible stories about the owners of this motel? Someday I'll tell you. Maybe tonight. I've seen strange things in this motel, Mr. Matson. A lot of strange things. And crazy people arrive here. What's that? It's the emergency. Hi, um, I'm at the corner of Pleasant Hill and John Young Parkway. I'm in a Walgreens parking lot, and my... Good evening, Mr. Madsen, and please, if I see you in my house at this time, I will not hesitate to call the police. And we both know, Mr. Madsen, you should not. <laughs> I'm only joking. Don't believe them, Mr. Madsen. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for, Mr. Madsen. My name is Henry Madsen. Where am I? Mr. Madsen. Mr. Madsen. Mr. Madsen. Mr. Madsen. Mr. Madsen. Mr. Madsen. Any important person in your life? I love the detective stories. Where am I? Mr. Madsen. What the hell? <coughs> Who are you? Don't look for problems, Mr. Madsen. It's not a good idea to speak of her. The woman in the seventh room, that is. Not sure. It's only that note in the reception today that we got. Somebody sent it to remind this motel that today is your special day on the house.
Did you find what you were looking for, Mr. Nelson? I think I'm always ready for you, Mr. Matson. <laughs> Have you seen Daniel? I've not seen him in a long time. Who am I? 